diagram on the right shows parallelogram a b c d so we have a b c d here so equation of this so given point 1 2 and 3 6 so equation of the straight line dc is given also and de is perpendicular by sector of ab find the equation of ab and de so first we can see ab so we see here for ab and dc is parallel so parallel means m1 is equal to m2 so here we can find gradient from this equation so 3y minus x is equal to 15 3y is equal to so we bring here to the right it will become positive x plus 15 y is equal to 1 over 3x plus 15 divided by 3 is 5 so we know the gradient here is 1 over 3 so we know the gradient m is equal to 1 over 3 and this one is parallel to this one which means this gradient is also 1 over 3 so we can make uh, the equation of a b so we know for a b y minus y1 is equal to m minus x minus x1 so we have one point here which is a 1 2 and we have m which is equal to 1 over 3 so y minus y1 is 2 is equal to m is 1 over 3 x minus x1 is 1 so y minus 2 is equal to 1 over 3 x minus this one will become 1 over 3 so y is equal to 1 over 3 x minus 1 over 3 plus so negative 2 will become plus 2 so we get negative 1 over 3 plus 2 negative 1 over 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 over 3 so if you want to remove the denominator we can see 3y is equal to x plus 5 because this one is plus 5 over 3 so here 3y minus x is equal to 5 so here for a b 3y minus x is equal to 5 So, DE is perpendicular by sector which means DE and AB is perpendicular. So, perpendicular. So, we know M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. So, uh, gradient of DE, M, DE is equal to negative 1 divided by M of AB. So, here, so here MAB, so we have 3Y minus X is equal to 5. So, 3Y is equal to, lama. So, 3y is equal to x plus 5. So, y is equal to 1 over 3x plus 5 over 3. So, here, negative 1 divided by m, a, b is 1 over 3. Which is equal to negative 1 divided by 1 over 3 is negative 3. So, we know, now we get 1 point. So, d is 3, 6. So, m is equal to negative 3. So, y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1 where this one is x1 and this one is y1 so y minus 6 is equal to m is negative 3 x minus x1 is 3 so y minus 6 is equal to negative 3 x negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 so y is equal to negative 3 x so negative 6 we bring to the back we get 9 plus 6 which is plus 15 So, this is DE. So, DE is equal to, so DE, Y is equal to negative 3X plus 15. So, we see here coordinate of E and B. So, E is here. E is the intersection of point DE and AB. So, we know that DE is equal to here. Y is equal to negative 3X plus 15. And then for AB, you can see AB, Y is equal to 1 over 3X plus 5 over 3. So here if we do elimination, Y minus Y is 0, negative 3X minus 1 over 3. So negative 3X minus 1 over 3 is negative 10 over 3X. 15 minus 5 over 3 is equal to plus 40 over 3. So we may so we multiply everything with t so we get 0 is equal to negative 10x plus 
40. 10x is equal to 40. x is equal to 40 divided by 10 which is equal to 4. Now we get x is equal to 4. So here y is equal to negative 3x plus 15. So if x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 3, 4 plus 15. So here negative 12 plus 15. So we get 15 minus 12 is 3. So x is 4, y is 3. So this point is, so E is x4 and y is 3. So for B, we know that B is perpendicular by sector which means this one and this one is equal. So we know now we get A is here which is 1, 2 and we get B, E which is 4, 3 and here is B. So we know the distance is equal which means E is the midpoint. So given this one is X. So we know that 4, 3 is equal to 1 plus x divided by 2 and 2 plus y divided by 2. So we know that 1 plus x divided by 2 is equal to 4. So 1 plus x is equal to 8. 2 times 4 is 8. x is equal to 8 minus 1 which is equal to 7. And here 2 plus y over 2 is equal to 3. 2 plus y is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. So y is equal to 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4. So we get x is 7 and y is 4. So b is equal to 7 and 4.